So it's important to study human cells because ultimately we would like to tackle the big questions in life for human beings. We want to be able to improve health globally and really the answer for doing that is to look at human cells. Paul Allen believes that to understand disease, we have to understand cells. So one of his goals is to understand cells in their normal and pathological context. One of the keys to understanding cells is how they're organized. Every cell function is a result of some specialized structure acting in a specialized place. These cell lines are going to give us a window into organization that is unprecedented and potentially transformative. This collection of stem cell lines is actually very unique because it is a first set of publicly available human induced pluripotent stem cell lines that can be used by any researcher. What we're doing is different because instead of overexpressing something which can be a little bit messy or sloppy in the cell, it's not really what the cell normally does. We've basically just made a really tiny change in the cell's genome that allows allows us to see just what we want to see when we look at the cell through the microscope. We go about gene editing using the CRISPR-Cas9 technology where uh, we use basically a molecular scissors, which is Cas9, to cut the DNA in our genome where we want to cut it. Um, and then we introduce this sequence for the fluorescent protein. And by doing that, we have created this gene-edited cell line. When you look at these cells through the microscope, you're going to see these structures just brightly illuminated. So you might see the sort of outline of the cell if you're looking just with light, and then when you turn the fluorescence on, you're just going to see that structure lit up, and you're going to be able to know that that's where that protein is localized, right there. These cell lines will help us eventually understand disease because first we have to understand what a normal cell behaves and looks like, and then we can introduce things we know create disease. This will give us very clear targets uh, for drug discovery. The creation of these cell lines is an incredible team effort because you need to have experts in gene editing, in stem cells, in molecular biology, in you know, genomic analyses, in cell biology, and in microscopy to even look at these cells and figure out whether they're behaving normally. We're doing everything in our power on the scientific side as well as on the business side to make these lines as accessible and as easy to use as possible. This is potentially a game changer in the cell science community and so to be able to play a part in helping actually move that from our Allen Institute building out into the rest of the world, um, it's really fulfilling. This is something that is really going to make a difference to the cell biology community because as the induced pluripotent stem cell becomes a new model for cell biology, these cell lines permit people who would not normally have access to this field to enter the field. I hope what people say is that this is the tool they were looking for to do their experiments so they can really understand how their favorite protein or favorite pathway works in a normal cell. I think this is going to be a phenomenal tool that we offer to the cell biology community. You know, ultimately, we're going to have a whole range of different proteins that will be tagged and people will be able to see what they're up to in the cell at pretty much any moment in time.